So I came into the studio bright and early this morning, and there's happy birthday ribbons hanging all over the place. There's a pile of little presents. Uh, there's a happy birthday balloon. You're how old? Uh, and more presents and uh, and uh, glitter and, and stuff like that. And then I, I, I look at the weather forecast from Papagano, and I say, well, it doesn't look that bad. And uh, now I get to speak to the man himself. Pat, first, before we get to anything in weather, okay? okay. Uh, you're very low, by the way, this morning, your, your volume. I don't know why, but um, I watched the Super. I watched the Spider-Man movie yesterday, and terrific. You liked it, right? Yeah, and I felt really good. Now that I know that Spider-Man's produced by Marvel, right. <laughs> I'll start watching it more because the way Marvel does the comic books on on screen is much better. There's always a lot of humor mixed in with all the excitement, uh, that so uh, so that's a. Uh, I especially like the part where the where the kid got the drone going after. His, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but anyway, it was it was good. So that was a very good movie recommendation. Uh, great and uh, happy birthday to you. And um, uh, you're you're saying that this is low. Now it's fine. Now it's fine. Oh, when you first, when you first said it, it was it was a little low, but now no, it's fine. Because I didn't touch it, but uh, uh, who who knows? But yes, I mean. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. You're not getting old. Stay in the game. It's not time to fold. Wrinkles and gray hair are just a little, are just a new look. Countless experiences. You should write it in a book. A birthday is seldom a serious occasion. Try not to take it like the D-Day invasion. Laughter and jokes are within sight. Stock up on both all through the night. Happy birthday. Thank you very much for that. Thank you. Thank you, Pat. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right. So I, I, I have a, it's, a, not, it's not a bad forecast for my birthday. No, I mean, pretty much the showers are gone. And now we'll wind up with clearing. It'll be breezy. So, yeah, you know, we have to deal with that. Not windy, but breezy. Mid-60s. Clear tonight, mid-30s. Sun and patchy clouds for Thursday, mid-60s. Friday, some with increasing clouds, 60 to 65. Now, Saturday, cloudy, there could be a shower. I'm putting that in the singular tense. A shower, low 60s. Unfortunately, on and off rain or showers Sunday, it will be milder, uh, 65 to 70, I think. So um, the wetter of the two weekend days will now be Sunday and not Saturday, um, as our glorious new computer model shows such great consistency. I mean, it's bad. Terrible. You're going to have to just uh, install another window in your weather center so you, can, so you can look out there. I told you yesterday I'm going to be forecasting by, by the old <laughs> gut uh, come this winter. Because Let me give you an example. I'm looking at some of the modeling for uh, next week around this time. For Halloween, I've been looking at that. You know, and I see this upper air disturbance. It's really not associated with a surface storm yeah. on the ground, but it's in the upper atmosphere. And, and I'm really, really wondering what this thing is going to do, because in my opinion, it's these disturbances that sometimes come in, and that's when we get some rain or snow mixed, yeah. especially at the end of October. So I'll be curious to see how the model, the model that I'm talking about, the American model, Handles this one, and that would be uh, Wednesday, Thursday next week. All right. Until then, until then, that's it. Uh, I had my class yesterday, and um, you know, I teach religion on Tuesday. Uh, that was okay. That went that went uh, over well. Um, heard from our director concerning the tree branch that hit his car. On the Palisades last Thursday, where we had the strong winds, and what did you say? Uh, the damage now is estimated between four and five thousand dollars. I was going to say there was there, there's no it, nowadays it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if you get hit if that something hits either was that on the front or the back of the car? It was uh, the front and the right side. All right, minute you're looking at the front, you're looking at uh, potential airbags. Okay, even if they don't go off, they got to check the airbags, and they have to be very careful going in. Okay. And then if, you, if, if, if it hits in the front, it's structural. It's always structural and involves the engine. It's, it's just uh, – you, 
you get a, a bump and it's two thousand dollars. Anything over a little bump is over two thousand dollars. So it doesn't surprise me that it's that much. Uh, yeah, uh, he was saying it's interesting. He said that you know when he brought it into the guy, the guy said to him, you know, uh, this is the way it looks. But he said I have to get it up on the lift. He said because a lot of times uh, when these tree branches come down and hit, he said they could do things under the car, yeah. and uh, you know. Uh, I I don't know what the actual details were, but the branch did damage uh, something under the car, and just that alone alone is eight hundred dollars. Yeah, no, it's 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 just amazing. It, it, so it, please, folks, yeah. do it. Do us a favor. Whenever we have um, wind advisories, high wind warnings, try to be careful on the highways, especially if trees are involved. Um, I know uh, people probably say, well, what are you going to do if there's a tree involved? Well, if you're on the right-hand lane and there's trees there, be careful. Uh, if you're on the left-hand lane, you know, and, and you're in the middle and there's no trees, then stay on the left-hand lane. That's all I could say. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's rough out there. Well, now, speaking about prices, I was mentioning this to my Kazi. Remember when I had that big, bad abscess a couple months ago? Yeah, yeah. And I went to the emergency room on a Sunday, right? Right. Yes. And I and, and, and he told me I had to go see a dentist, uh -oh. and he and he and he gave me a couple of uh, he gave me some Motrin to get to get uh, through to the weekend. And you just got the, the bill. I got well, I got the bill. I have Medicare A Part A and B, and then uh, the other part I have Anthem Blue Cross, where I have dental and everything like that. I uh, between Medicare, I think we pay a hundred. I pay a hundred dollars a month for, and the Part Two, I pay like I think it's. Uh, a hundred. I pay. I pay under three hundred dollars for both for both the month, which is a bargain, all right. But right. I open up this. I open up this bill. It's not a bill. It's just a statement of what. what you know, <laughs> the emergency room visit was about twenty minutes. It was five to ten minutes waiting, and then it was about six or seven minutes seeing the doctor, and then him writing the giving me the Motrin and then leaving. Six hundred and thirty some dollars. <laughs> Six hundred and thirty some dollars. This is, uh, and you know, all that money that that money is not all going to the hospital. But they don't, they, they don't get me wrong there. But it's everything so out of whack. If I didn't spend the three hundred dollars a month, I would have had to come up with six hundred and some odd dollars. That's how wacky our healthcare system is. I believe that. You know, um, I don't know. I remember. Oh yeah, I went for uh, blood blood work last year this is last year and they did blood work and the doctor wanted to know um about the uh vitamins so like i think he he checked for uh, whatever it is b12 or something like that yeah a couple of things and uh i got a bill from from the uh, doctor's office saying that medicare denied payment and that uh I have to give them close to $300. So I called Medicare. And Medicare was very prompt to answer. And they, were, they said, listen, we denied payment because we need to have the doctor do it the right way. I said, and that is? The doctor has to say that it is medically necessary for this test. And once the doctor says that, then um, we will submit payment. It's one year now. I get a I get a letter from a collection agency for three hundred dollars. So okay. I picked up the phone and I said, I do have the bill here. It's from a year ago. I called your people. I said I went over this over and over again. I said, I have two. I have Medicare and I have Emblem. I said, with both, I should not be paying a penny. Yeah. And he said, I understand, sir. I'm going he gave me this name. He said, I'm going to look into this. He said, and I will get back to you. If you should get another message, uh, please call me back and, uh, and we'll continue to work on it for you. So now it's over one year and they're still trying to get $300 out. Yeah, amazing. So I, what can I tell you, Marshall? I'll be honest with you. The dentist, the, dent, the, the dentist who worked for... 45 minutes to get that tooth out. Yeah, what do you charge half of that? That was, listen to this. That was only like $300. So, 
See what I mean? <laughs> he yeah. worked 45 minutes. He worked like a dog to get that out of there. Unbelievable. And it, it included like four follow-up visits that I didn't get charged for. <laughs> was, this is what's wrong. We have the greatest health care system in the world. It's that the way we pay for it is absolutely bonkers. It really is. Bonkers. It's not good for the hospitals. It's not good for the patients. Uh, I don't know who it's good for, but it's it's just crazy. Wow. That really is a shame. Uh, well, anyway. It's a shame. Anyway, what the heck. So what are you doing for your birthday? Um... Well, I got to clean the studio out because uh, they, I've got uh, stringers hanging all up in the. Bur- in the so I, I, after I clean that out, now I also received some birthday presents, which was real nice, and a birthday card. After that, I think I'll just have a birthday lunch, and then I'll go home and get stoned. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. I think I- I'm, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna say something blasphemous, so I get stoned. You ever see that in the Monty Python movie? Yeah, yeah. Life of Brian. <laughs> Jehovah. I think I'll say Jehovah and get stoned. <laughs> okay, well, you could do that. That's right. <laughs> I don't uh, know. I'm going to just take it easy, you know. It's a, it's a, I'll have a, I'll have lunch uh, with Jill and I'll commiserate with our very, very, very tiny staff here. Uh, and then I'll, I'll look over all, already. I've got about 188 uh, people have to thank back on Facebook, uh, so I'll, I'll add that to the list of things to do. So, okay, that's, it'll be yeah, a nice laid-back day. Nice laid-back day, and I'll watch a movie. That's uh, I'll watch another movie. Yeah, you know, um, I, I forgot the movie I put on last night. There was something about it. Um, oh, it was an Ag- Agatha Christie. It was done in 2018. I forgot the name of it. I was Ag- Agatha Christie, but I was so tired. I started watching it, and then I fell asleep. So. Um, I had a feeling who did this uh, this murdering, and I'm thinking to myself, could it possibly be this this young girl? And uh, when I got home, when when I woke up this morning, I um, I had it uh, DVR'd. I had to look and see, and it was the young girl. So I guess I really didn't miss too much, except for uh, trying to figure out who it was. But I get I like I get Agatha Christie. I mean, she. Um, she did some good stuff uh, in her day. It's not bad, but it's not Marvel. <laughs> no, no. It was and did really you see, good, did, wasn't did it? You yeah, see the, I figured you would have liked that. Did you see the new Star Wars trailer? I did, yeah. Looks like it's going to be good. You think this is going to be the end? It's going to be the end of this particular one, yeah, with all those people, yeah. They, right, move, on, they right. move on from this. Which is a little bit sad, but it's also time. The actual stars are dying. <laughs> <laughs> they're not just dying in the movies they're actually dying it's yeah time. yeah yeah time. okay <laughs> it's time <laughs> all right pat i will speak to you tomorrow and a happy happy birthday marshall thanks pat okay bye-bye uh, pat began this morning in the weather center here on robin hood radio with a check on the tri-state forecast